Peace, go hard. Go hard, family. What's up, cuz? What's happening? <laughs> my cuz coming over here. Uh, I did this live. I wanted to talk. I was, I was waiting for my cousin to come, but he coming up. This is my cousin Ray. He just came home from uh, being incarcerated 30 years, and I'm going to do an interview with him in the house. I know. I, I'm on a live right quick, man. <laughs> Yo, you got to um, yeah. um, follow me to my shorty career right now. You want me to follow you out there? Yeah, All right. Come on there, so you, you ready? To, you just got here? Yeah. Okay, cool. I just pulled up. Okay. All right, we're out you. here in West Haven. Huh? Out here? Nah. Oh, uh, uh, Westville. Okay, cool. All right. So pull around Congress. I'm right Pull there. around there. All right. Give me a few minutes. I'll, I'll finish up here. All right. I'll finish up here. I'll pull around there. All right, cool. No. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to uh, meet up with him and uh, do a video. However, you know, I've, I've come to the States in order to, you know, just build network, you know, see my cousin. You know, as I said, he he was incarcerated for 30 years. You know, my other cousin, Riz, you know, you see him, he was incarcerated 25 years. So a lot of the brothers that were affected by the war on, you know, the drug war of the 80s, you know, a lot of our friends were killed and, and then a lot of the ones that um, went to jail for a long time for, you know, that was, you know, involved with murder or had murder or court murder. A lot of those people are actually coming home now. And it's, it's crazy. You know, I was just thinking I was, I'm editing a video and I was putting some caption there and I was saying, you know, coming home is almost like taking a, a tour of like how Vietnam would be. You know, when you go there the, the other day, right around the corner, we have a, it's a wall, it's a, a memorial wall with like 60 people named on it that were victims of gun violence. And, you know, uh, you know, coming back, coming back, you know, I, it's definitely a, a different landscape from when I was young, you know, you know, uh, in this area that we're in, the, the uh, hill section of New Haven, Congress Avenue, that was like the Black Wall Street of you know uh, of new haven there was many black wall streets i mean you know during the uh 50s and the 60s we really had our economic you know uh acclimate together and you know own businesses and own shops and things and up and down uh the road <laughs> destroyed by war on drugs yeah many of us was destroyed by war on drugs generations were destroyed generations were destroyed i'm out here chilling today this is my ride today you know i'm on this bike today so, uh, you know, uh, coming home and being here, I have an opportunity to, you know, you know, be around my friends and family, you know, because, you know, being in Africa, you, you know, you're, you're away, <laughs> you know, you're away from everybody that know you, everybody, you know, that you share laughs with, you know, share good times and, you know, and I think that's a, a lot of why a lot of people don't want to, you know, leave their hometown because they have all of those you know all of those family connections you know uh, however at the same time you know a lot of those family connections even though we love these people that we're around all the time it's not always a positive thing for us you know it's not always positive you know you know we know family man we have a lot of challenges as people we have a lot of challenges as people that we have to overcome and go through and challenges that we still face in in, uh, in the gambia you know, being there, I went there seven years ago. That was the first time I stepped on off the plane, probably seven and a half years now. You know, stepped off that plane and determined and decided that this is where I wanted to be. You know, in recent years, in the past two and a half years, more people from the West have started coming over. You know, uh, UK, you know, uh, and it's not like it used to be. Ask anybody. You know, it's not something that I'm making up or saying, you know, it's not like it used to be, you know, uh, prior to a lot of, uh, you know, people coming over from the West that still have Western uh, mentalities of divide and conquer. That's my cuz. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, so, you know, what we want to do is we want to be able to, we want to be able to um, create a positive format for people. You, you want me to get your number and follow and be, come out there like, I just need 15 more minutes. That's cool? Uh -huh. 15 more minutes? Yeah, you can, I mean, you can come out there. It's, it's, you know how to use the GPS? Yeah, indeed, indeed. 295 Stevenson Road. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, text it to Joe for me. Let me finish this up right quick. Yeah, but then, and, you know, I want to sit here, you know, and, and finish this conversation because there's a lot going on, man. And, you know, us trying to leave these conditions, these this war zone condition. Hey, 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 uh, hey, Cub. Yeah. I wanted to get you, uh, you got a second? I want to get you on about the book, man, right quick. For our interview we're about to do. Okay? You got two seconds? No, you don't have to, you don't have to get Let's see. Yeah, so what's the name of the book, though? The name of the book is called The Model Inmate uh -huh. by Ra Son Allah, a.k.a. Ray Boyd. All right. It's a journey of my 30 years of incarceration mm -hmm. and how I navigated the system and up until my freedom. So, you know, we're going to sit down. We're going to, uh, you know, chop it up and talk more about, you know, uh, his experience and then, you know, in and then what he see now and then what we could do to kind of, you know, uh, uh, recover and heal because I, I was just saying, it's like coming through the hood, it's like going through Vietnam, you sure know? Is. It's like, oh, this person got shot here, this one got shot down there. I was just sharing the story about how, uh, it, you know, our family members got shot right in the doorway. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Three of our Real. family, your brother. You know, yeah. two years, two your brothers and my nephews. nephews. You know, yeah. a little nephew, I used to change his diaper. We just had a, a little niece, yeah. we just, you know, she died, you know, Ebony, you know, a distant from the fentanyl. And that's yeah. just, a, you know, before, I, you know, I was sharing, like, you used to have base heads. They yeah. used to look half dead, yeah. but they were still trucking, still moving around, hustling, stealing stuff, selling VCRs. But now, they can, you dying right away. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're going to continue, we're going to continue the, uh, the, the interview. And I'm gonna meet you. Uh, send it over to Joe. Give me like 20 minutes. That way I can. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, cool. That way you'll be out there. And we can show, and it'd be good because mm -hmm. you capture in this neighborhood, and that other section is in Westville. Westville, so yeah. So you can capture the Westville movement. Uh, yeah. And show the different mm -hmm. how the town is split up. Uh huh. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was sharing. I was sharing like you know how your mom was, you know, uh, one of the uh, uh, organizers, Black Panther Party, and yeah. you know in the 60s and you know how much she's contributed in, in terms of you know community empowerment and uh you know different programs and everything yeah. so my aunt house is like a, a hub you know an entertainment hub a social yeah. cultural hub you know having nine children if nine children with two two friends each that's 18 plus the nine yeah. so at any given time it's 20 30 people yeah. at the house <laughs> oh mom dukes is definitely a wealth of information if oh yeah are, we're gonna uh, out, we're gonna no, link that man. in i'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go. All right. All right, and then I'll meet up with you. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. I'll be out there. All right. All right. Yeah. So that's my cousin. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do more videos uh, just regarding, you know, like his experience. This area over here, this whole area. He basically, you know, this area and other areas. In a video that we did in the past, if you look at it at an early age, he had a uh, connection with uh, Jamaican. Uh, you know, uh, Jamaicans that were <clears throat> distributing, you know, throughout the, you know, tri-state area, you know, uh, and, you know, he, he was involved in that, like many of us, you know, at a very high level and ended up getting himself into a situation where he had to do that time, like, like many, like many. And that's one of the things that made me want to go to, to the Gambia. You know, I wanted to come and, you know, get away from you know the lack of opportunity the lack of you know uh you know social you know uh, uh services that really are intended to really help bring us out of this you know uh these conditions that we're in you know uh, however <clears throat> and in, in in these challenges there's there's still other challenges as well you know uh you, you know when you get the gambia if you're coming over to africa you know any any number of nations that you go to over in West Africa, you know, you'll still see the challenges amongst our community. You know, I've been to a couple of nations and I've sat down and talked to people about our, you know, our role and what it is that we're doing and how we can do it better. And, you know, uh, like I said, you know, there are challenges. However, if you go there and you have the right mindset, you will definitely be able to, you know, make a, 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 a tremendous impact. You know, it doesn't take a, it doesn't take many people. It just take a few people with uh, good intentions and you know you can work wonders in being in west africa 
<clears throat> it's have definitely been a blessing for me definitely and now it's so it's so great in the time that we're living in and what's happening man so you know i'm gonna go ahead and end this live i just wanted to hop on right quick you know to help you know boost the channel and get the channel going and then be present for people be present because we need diversity we need diversity we don't need the same old thing same old you know hype we need to see people that's actually real people we need to see actual real people you know so anybody that's looking to make a, a positive contribu uh, contribution to the continent you are how you you know you're highly welcome like they say in gambia you know uh, someone was just asking me you know how is it over there and and we all have these you know these uh, stereotypes in our mind about africa and none of them are true you know when you come there it's going to be 10 times five to ten times better than the situation that you have here in the states so look out watch out for the video that i'm going to uh, post in a few days regarding you know just my experience here and what i've been doing here and then you know i'll keep on i'll keep videos coming regarding uh with content that's community-based content community because that's what it's about so until next video like share and subscribe thank you for watching